Yemenis are a people native to the southwestern corner of the Arabian Peninsula, with a history stretching back to some of the world's earliest civilizations. Ancient Yemen, known to the Romans and Greeks as Arabia Felix, or Fortunate Arabia, was famed for its fertile highlands and its position on lucrative incense and spice trade routes. Several powerful kingdoms flourished here during the European Iron Age, including Sheba, Kataban, Hadramaut, and Himyar. These states were known for their impressive irrigation systems, such as the ancient Marib Dam, and for their role in long-distance trade connecting Arabia, Africa, and India. Judaism, Christianity, and later Islam left strong imprints on Yemeni identity. After the rise of Islam in the 7th century, Yemen quickly became part of the early caliphate. The region was later ruled by local Islamic dynasties, most notably the Zaydi Imamate, founded in the 9th century. This imamate endured, in various forms, for over a thousand years and shaped the political and religious fabric of northern Yemen. The Rasid Imams, such as Imam Yehya Muhammad Hamid ed Din, played crucial roles in maintaining Yemen's autonomy amid Ottoman and later European pressures. During the 19th and 20th centuries, Yemen was divided between two major colonial powers. The Ottoman Empire dominated the north, while the British Empire occupied the south, establishing the Aden Protectorate in 1839 as a strategic port on the route to India. Resistance to colonial rule was fierce. Tribal confederations, religious leaders, and nationalist groups all fought to maintain independence. In the north, Yemeni tribes and Zaydi forces expelled the Ottomans after World War I, leading to the establishment of the Mutawakalite Kingdom of Yemen under Imam Yehya in 1918. In the south, anti-British sentiment culminated in the Aden Emergency, a violent insurgency led by nationalist groups like the National Liberation Front and the Front for the Liberation of Occupied South Yemen. The struggle ended with the British withdrawal in 1967 and the founding of the People's Democratic Republic of Yemen, the only Marxist state in the Arab world. The North and South remained separate until 1990, when they unified under the modern Republic of Yemen. For this video, I've gathered the raw genomes of 14 Yemenis from the Human Origins Project originating from the Dama region. I have used academic tools such as AdmixTools 1 and 2, developed by Harvard, but also tools developed by myself, such as Mageplot and Trait Predictor, to analyze their genomes. According to this FST chart computed with AdmixTools 2, the Damar Yemenis cluster close to the Northwest Yemenis, Egyptians, Saudis, and Lebanese, being quite far from the desert Yemenis. The populations they were furthest to were the Denisovans, Native Americans, and indigenous Australians. Consult this Mesolithic ancestry breakdown for the Damar Yemenis. Here, they score about 19% of the Zagrosian component, 38% of the Anatolian Neolithic farmer component, 32% of the Natufian component, and 10% of the East African hunter-gatherer component. This is one of Yemenite groups with a lower share of East African ancestry. I generated an FST matrix using AdmixTools 1. The subsequent analysis was done using this FST matrix. Consult this 2D PCA. On this PCA, we see two distinct clines. First is the cline from Europe to the Middle East. As you can see, on the European extreme, we see the Basques, Russians, Norwegians, and the English. On the Middle Eastern extreme, we can see Damar Yemenis, Saudis, Desert Yemenis, and Syrians. The Ashkenazi Jews, Greeks, Balochi, and Spaniards fall on this Europe-Middle East spectrum. Another cline we see is the Middle East to East Africa cluster. On the East African extreme of this cline, we find the Somalis, and on the Middle Eastern extreme, we find the Damar Yemenis and Saudis. We see multiple populations falling intermediate between these two extremes, such as the Desert Yemenis, Bedouins, and Ethiopian Jews. I constructed a phylogenetic tree using the data from the FST matrix I showed earlier. On this phylogenetic tree, we see two major clusters, the East African cluster and the Eurasian cluster. The Somalis and Ethiopian Jews fall in the East African cluster. The major Eurasian cluster can be subdivided into two smaller clusters, the Arabian cluster and the Northern cluster, which includes Europeans, Iranics, and West Asians. This phylogenetic tree reminded me of a biblical concept, according to which the Arabs and Semites descend from Shem, the Europeans and Asians descend from Japheth, and the East Africans descend from Ham. The Shemitic cluster is further split in two distinct clusters, where the two different types of Yemenis fall. Examining the Japhetic cluster, we can see that the most distinct populations in it are the Balochi and Brahui of Pakistan, as they have a 65 Euclidean distance from the rest of the populations in this cluster. 
Let's move on to the 14 Dammer Yemeni trait predictor results. Every sample was female. The most common predicted phenotypes were East Alpinid and Ethiopid, although West Asian and Iranian Plateau phenotypes such as Indo-Iranid and Pamrid were present too. Predicted eye colors ranged from light hazel to medium brown. Predicted hair colors ranged from medium brown to black. Predicted hair textures ranged from straight to kinky, with three samples scoring kinky hair. The most common predicted nose shape is the neutral nose shape, with a roughly equal score for Greek and snub. The Yemenis were moderately predisposed to male pattern baldness, and most were predicted to be of below average height. The Yemenis scored average for the odds of Tourette's, high for the odds of unipolar depression, and remarkably low for the odds of bipolar type 1. The SNPs that my trait predictor uses for the bipolar type 1 polygenic risk score overlap significantly with those it uses for schizophrenia. The Yemenis had an incredibly high predisposition to autism. Lactose persistence variants in LCT were common among them. The Yemenis had a predisposition to higher levels of empathy. The Yemenis scored low for odds of atrial fibrillation, high for the odds of a wide range of cardiovascular issues, extremely high for the predicted level of bad LDL cholesterol, and low for the levels of good HDL cholesterol. The Yemenis had a moderate predisposition to autoimmune disease, low predisposition to allergies, and not a single sample carried any hemochromatosis risk variants in HFE. Yemenis had a strong tendency to Zyprexo-induced obesity. The Yemenis scored high for the odds of type 2 diabetes, high for the odds of obesity according to FTO genotypes, and average for the odds of syncope. The Yemenis scored remarkably low for the odds of hemoglobin E disease, low for the odds of corneal astigmatism, and high for the odds of Alzheimer's. About half of the Yemeni samples carried risk variants for polycythemia vera in the JRK2 gene. Every single sample carried risk variants for testicular cancer in the KITLG gene. This is typical of Eurasians. Only 5 out of 14 samples carried blue-yellow colorblindness risk variants in OPN1SW. The most common blood type among these 14 Yemenis was definitely O. You can purchase their genomes in 23andMe format from the link in the description. Purchase links for Andre DNA products and services will be in description too.